to Grand Moff Kilrin. You are now in contact with a Black Talon. Well, so I am. And it seems you've brought me just the person I've been looking for. My name is Rikus Kilrin. I'm commander of the Fifth Fleet, second to the Minister of War, and my personal favorite, the so-called Butcher of Coruscant. I wasn't aware that the military would be contacting me, sir. It's an unexpected honor. No need for that. Military or intelligence, we're all on the same side. Six hours ago, the Republic engaged in an illegal border skirmish on the edges of Imperial territory. One enemy warship escaped. That warship, the Brentle Star, is carrying a passenger of vital strategic importance. Yours is the only vessel placed to intercept. How do I fit in? I'll explain in a moment. The warship's passenger is codenamed the General. We don't know his identity, but the Republic believes he possesses military secrets, our military secrets. I trust the reports. The General must be captured or killed. Captain Orzik, the man commanding your transport, doesn't share my enthusiasm. He's disobeyed my orders to attack. Feel free to show him what the Empire does to cowards. Then commandeer his ship, find the Brentle Star, and deal with the General. I'll take care of it. If you're right, it's a job that needs to be done. Truly, it's comforting to find patriots in this age of skirmishes and border disputes. We need individuals like you if we're to survive the next great war. I will lead the way to the bridge. Once Captain Orsic is deposed and our hijacking is complete, we may proceed to the Brentall Star. Halt! This is a restricted area. Captain Orsic's command. You'll have to leave immediately. Sorry, I'm not quite sure where I am. This is the command deck entry hatch. No one's allowed in until we reach our destination. Time is limited. We must proceed to the bridge immediately. Our orders were to treat any approach as an attack. You need to take your droid and move it. I don't scare that easily. You had your chance. We warned you. Blasters out! Attack! Attack! All Marines have been neutralized. Scanning for additional threats. What's going on? Sir, stay calm, Ensign. Everyone stay calm. No threats found. The bridge is now secure. Call the med bay. I want help for the injured now. Acknowledged. Medical assistance will be properly rendered. I do appreciate that. I'm Captain Revenant Orzik. I'm pretty sure I know what this is about. For the record, I take complete responsibility for my actions. I understand, Captain. If nothing else, that should make it easier on the crew. I'm glad it's worth something. You're here because of the Moff, aren't you? You must want the Brentle Star's passenger pretty badly. Or maybe he just hates me. The Black Talon would be destroyed chasing a battleship. I fought in the war before and I'll fight again, but I don't do suicide missions. I'm not looking to make a martyr of anyone. We can complete this mission and survive. I expect you believe that. I see it differently. Listen to me. You've managed to hijack one ship and that's certainly impressive. But taking on the Brentle Star is something else altogether. I might be able to get us close, but then you'd have to board it, fight an army of Republic soldiers, and somehow find the General. It's unacceptable. We don't have a choice. Those were Moff Kilran's instructions. So, if we're going to survive, we need to work together. I see. You're as much a victim here as I am, aren't you? Damn Kilran and his fleet. All right. I'm not ready to be branded a traitor just yet. We'll get the General. I'm not sure how, but we'll get him. This is the right thing to do. I'll do my best to remember that. Downloading new orders to all bridge consoles. Priority one, intercept the Brentall Star. You heard the droid, everyone. Prepare to jump to light speed. It's emerging from hyperspace now. One Thranta class warship on the scanners. Powering up. Enemy is firing. Turbo lasers, missiles, and what looks like transport pods. I'm not sure. Base of maneuvers. Keep the pods at distance. They look harmless, but they'll latch onto the hull and cut at us with sabotage droids. Evasive maneuvers. Aye, sir. Sir, three shuttles on an intercept course. An assault party. We don't have sufficient defenses to keep them from landing. Let them land. I can handle any borders. This course of action is deemed advisable. 
Security will meet you at the entrance of the shuttle bay. Defend the ship at all costs, and we'll get you to the rental star. Damage reports from all decks. We're holding together, sir, but I don't know for how long. Make it last, Ensign. Don't let us down. Please stand alert. Grand Moff Gilrand's representative has returned. I see you took care of the Republic assault. Welcome back to the bridge. What's the situation? We've survived the first wave of attacks from the Brentle Star. Things will be calm until we enter fighter range. Another minute, maybe two. Transmission coming in. Long range. It's a message, but it's not from the Brentle Star. Put it through, Ensign. This is Jedi Grand Master Satil Shan hailing unidentified Imperial vessel. I'm en route to your location with 16 Republic vessels. I'm asking you to retreat before more lives are lost. A pleasure to meet you. I'm glad to hear a voice of reason. Let us end this conflict together. The Brentel Star is under my protection. Our convoy was ambushed and I sent the Star ahead. We will reunite. I just crippled three Imperial Dreadnoughts. I don't wish to destroy you. The peace between Republic and Empire is fragile enough already. Tell the Brentile Star to hand over the General. No one needs to be hurt. The General has a role to play with the Republic. Incidents like this are happening across the galaxy, but only because we let them. Leave the Brentile Star to me. If you don't, then may the Force be with you. Because the men and women aboard that ship can hold you off until we arrive. And you will be defeated. You're deluding yourself. The ship is already mine. You've made yourself clear. But I suggest you prepare to face a Jedi. And you may want to consider what that means. Entering fighter range. The Brentel Star is launching its first squadron. It's time for us to do the same. I assume you'll be leading the boarding party to go after the General? Whatever's necessary to finish this. There's one other thing. I promised you my help, so... I brought you some supplies from the cargo bay. Someone on Drummond Cast may be disappointed when they don't receive the delivery, but I thought our situation took precedence. I'm impressed, all right. Thank you. We're all doing our best here. I advise that you proceed to the shuttle bay. The flight to the Brentall Star may be hazardous, but Grand Moff Kilran has complete faith in your abilities. Protocol Unit NRO2. I hope you're receiving this message clearly, and that your flight was free of incident. Please hold for Security Coordinator Ensign Brukhara. The Marines are on their way. They'll follow you in and hold each junction you secure. Try not to take too long. We're not a military ship. What you have is all you're getting. I appreciate the warning. I have been scanning the Brenton Star's communications, and security forces appear to be moving to protect the escape pods. It is extremely likely that the crew is attempting to evacuate the General. You must retrieve or eliminate him before he escapes. Consider it done. Excellent news. I will be in contact if the situation changes. Proceed to assault all defense points between you and the target. Escape pods aren't far now. You can make it on your own, General. And what about you? I will face my destiny. Go now, my friend. Halt where you are. I am Yadira Bay, Padawan of the Jedi Order. I was sent to protect the General, and you will not pass. Surrender. Give me what I want and your ship can survive. I cannot accept that. A Jedi does not surrender the innocent into the hands of evil. But I intend to drive you back, meter by meter if need be, just as the Republic pushed the Sith Empire into the dark of the galaxy. Then there's no way we can settle this peacefully? No. Not anymore, I fear. Do not 
some of this? Or you may stand your ground, but you'll go no farther. You aren't going to win this. I swear it. On my way. going to win this. I swear it. On my way. You aren't going to win this. I swear it. On my way. going to win this. I swear it. On my way. You aren't going to win this. I swear it. On my way. going to win this. I swear it. On my way. You can put aside your weapons. I won't try to run. Besides, I doubt I'd make it to an escape pod without my intestines spilling out. How did you get injured? Unlucky. Caught in your ship's attack. I'm told the wounds aren't fatal, but that doesn't help the pain. I was a general in the Imperial Military Service. Did they tell you that when they sent you here? Did they even know? You were willing to sell out your people to the Republic. If you knew what I knew, you'd understand. If you'd heard what both sides are plotting, you wouldn't be eager to restart this war. They're building doomsday weapons, shields that envelop planets, missiles that darken suns. Republic and Empire are planning to raise worlds, annihilate civilizations. It will be unlike anything the galaxy's seen since the Great Hyperspace War. Then it's too late to stop it. The so-called Peace is already lost. I've heard enough of this. Yes. I shouldn't expect you'd care. Oh, you have me then? Me, my stomach full of blood, and my implant full of cybernetic secrets and stolen plans. <laughs> what will you do? I'm going to bring you to my ship. From there you'll be transported to Drom and Kars and taken into Imperial custody. Where I'll be tortured or executed? Or at best, placed in a cell for the rest of my life. Still, there's nowhere in the galaxy where I could truly hide. I will follow you.